here we are back in our natural environment next to lifeless barges and wildlife that probably hates us. But it's stopped raining, so we're all it right. It stopped raining. Look on the plus side. <laughs> the tooling gods are being kind today. So, DevTools, people have wanted the dark theme built in for quite some time. No, you've wanted the dark theme so people can ask you, what DevTools theme is Addy using? Let's picture a world where that might be true. Now, if you went to settings, you could actually enable such a beautiful theme under appearance. So let's go, let's go try that out and see if it works. So what that'll do is it'll instantly retheme all of DevTools and device mode as of the build that we're using today. Um, and so you can go and you can check out all the different panels. We can try out like recording timeline stuff just to see how well this looks on different panes. So here we can see timeline looks great. You can do all your screenshot stuff, looks good. Resources, sources panel, network, profiles. All of this stuff has been optimized to look really good with this theme. So it's kind of neat. People should maybe check it out. Yeah. yeah. So one of the other things that's recently been added to DevTools is the security panel, which is much more exciting. Questionably more exciting. <laughs> more important. Questionably more important. <laughs> so basically what the security panel will do is if you've got HTTPS set up for your site and everything's fine, there's literally no reason you really need to go here um, because for the most part, you should be fine. But if you've got something wrong with your site like this one where it's served over HTTPS but it's not the red padlock or the green padlock, it's the usual like piece of paper, um, the security panel will actually tell you why. So in this case, it's saying the page isn't secure because it's using a SHA-1 certificate. Just to double check, you're not on adiosmani.com. No, I think you're okay. Yes. I, couldn't, I couldn't use your site as a bad example, despite oh, my, my attempt. Um, but it's also helpful for things like you've got mixed content. So in this case, we've got one blocked uh, mixed content. And in this case, you can click on the network panel and it takes you to that one resource. So it's a JavaScript file that has been blocked. Um, but it's just basically a super clean and super nice way of debugging half the problems. Um, and it's really useful if you find that Chrome's doing something weird and you don't really understand why it's doing what it's doing. Yeah. That's the place to go. That's cool. Super so awesome. do you know the way that like on your site, your site looks really pretty. I'm kind of jealous because your site looks better than mine now. But um, on your site, you've got like a mix of um, system fonts like that people probably have installed and web fonts that you might be loading from like, I guess, Google fonts or, or somewhere else, right? Yeah. Um, if you take a look, the wildlife just loves us here. They're just like <laughs> super stoked about what I'm going to show. Right, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and check out the DOM tree view and select some text. So here, I'm going to just zoom in. In styles, you can see that we've got this new little side panel called rendered fonts. And what this will let you do is see if a font that's currently being used for a particular piece of UI is local, meaning it's a system font, or if it's been loaded over the network. So that's a system font. Here we've got um, some other text you've got. You've got like you unit testing a service worker, yep. heading or something, title block content, you with your BEM. Um, <laughs> and <I> try. <laughs> you try. And here we can see that this one has been loaded over the network. So it's just a nice little tidbit. Well, I used to use like a Chrome extension, a what font for just exactly this, because especially if you wanted a font to load and you wanted to figure out, was it the one that I specified or was it the fallback? Yeah, um, yeah super nice. I love it. So we've got that built in now. Um, another thing I wanted to show, so here we've got um, getbootstrap.com. Everyone is familiar with this. You know, half the web is built with this thing at this point. Um, and I'm just going to select a piece of UI. So I've selected the download bootstrap button, right? Now, over in styles, if you take a look, let's zoom in. We've got a new .cls button, and that's basically element classes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that. And what this button has done is it's actually gone and plucked out all the different class names that I have for this DOM node. And this just lets me go and toggle on and off different classes. So here you can see that um, I'm able to turn this thing off from looking like a button. Um, and this type of thing is really useful if you're dealing with state of any kind and you just want to like iterate and play around with your different classes. Yeah, like, I, the nice thing with this is I normally end up just like unchecking all the styles for a particular class rather than just do what you've done and just disable the entire class altogether. It's really nice. I like it. Cool. So another thing. Another um, thing. Another Addy? thing. Yeah, this is how I get kicked off stages at conferences. I've had another that, thing. Yeah. It's not good. Um, this is Paul Lewis's voice memos app. I've currently got um, the DevTools color picker open. And if you hold over any color in the color palette now, what you'll see is we actually now show you um, a whole range of uh, different tints for those colors. 
which is kind of neat. So you can like see lighter versions and darker versions of any of those colors. Here I'm just going to go and select some. And this is kind of nice. Um, we actually now show uh, titles, like the hint, at alternative shades. So this just shows you all the different shades available for a particular color that you selected. It's kind of nice. Avoids you having to go back out to yet another tool to check it out. I'm still trying to find it. You'll find it someday. <laughs>